hello and uh, welcome back everyone and in this video we are going to talk about one another application so if you haven't watched my previous videos in previous videos i have already covered hooks react life cycle basic fundamentals about react and now we are talking about how to write different apps the real world apps from that you will get an exposure okay how to build the real apps either it is a shopping cart e-commerce youtube clone netflix clone or any kind of new application which you need to build at the front end okay so how to build the components how to design the layout of components and how to pass the data between components how to raise an event to send the data from one component to another component all these things we are covering in these videos okay so here we are going to create this basic shopping cart with the help of hooks currently it we will try to build it in the class and then we will convert it to it into hooks i mean just we will write a functional component and we will use this use effect use state common set of hooks to achieve our functionality so this is our application which we are going to build it's a like very simple form very simple component layout okay because we are targeting on very easy examples first then we will extend it to the complex ones with redux in future okay so the here you can see we have three components this form can be a separate component here we are talking about component layout and design how you can segregate the component into different files how the data communication can happen okay this form can be independent this form will be submitting some data to the parent component which is about name price info okay now this is my cart like these all items you have added in the cart okay like android iphone windows and this is the pricings if you keep increasing the quantity based on that this quantity or price will increase and finally the cart items the price which you need to pay is available here so we are just adding a tax and in total inclusive of tax this is the amount which you need to pay right so if you just divide this whole there will be one parent component that parent component will hold these three child components one can be a new product form then there is a product list component this is this we can call it as a product list because here we are showing all our products added in the list from the form and then you can actually two plus minus one initially quantities will be zero now if you click on plus it means you are trying to buy it so directly this cart price will increase okay this we are trying to build uh, with the hooks so we, we are going to use use state use effect all these set of hooks to achieve this functionality okay so let's get started guys uh, what we can do is we can start writing the code so there is already a prehand code written but we will not use that what we are do going to do is this is the product list component this component i try to write in the classes first we will convert that into the functional component so what we can do is const component we'll use the hooks for this so it's very easy to convert a class based component to a functional component so what we need to do is we don't need a constructor first of all what we will do is we will initialize this state in the use state so const state and set state and we can use use state for this and this is my initial state total zero and product list so i need i initialized my state object using use state hook now i have these some events like create product calculate and show product component did mount i can replace with uh, use effect hook this can be very good exercise when you wanted to convert the class wise component into a functional component dependencies will be empty and what we are doing in this is just running simple set timeout okay set timeout we are doing which is updating the state so what we are doing here in this uh, we are actually calling set state this set state and we have current state so and we are updating the product list with the items okay product list we already have somewhere this is the product list hard coding the data 
okay now you note these methods these methods can be simple arrow functions const create product you don't need to bind them to this context so this is create product calculate total can also be the same okay then we have show product this will also get converted into simple arrow function now we don't need this we can remove them so we got all the functions we have created and now we'll be accessing it using state dot product list and uh, we will be returning it something like this so if this is that case then we are returning loading otherwise what we are returning is we are returning the products okay so this is our return we don't have a render function here we are writing functional component so just format this and let's see what we have so here we are we will be using set state only and here is this is my current state and i will be updating the products okay this we need to clean that up create product so what create product is doing it is updating the product list okay so what we can do is set state this is a current state and the products i am updating to product list dot push so here i am passing i am accessing the products so this should be product list product list i am updating so here i can access state dot product list dot push i got the new item and i'm assigning that directly to the product list so first of all what i can do is i can push first and then i can assign so state dot product list in the state object i have product list so i push the new product and then i am assigning this product list with this new state dot product list okay calculate total uh, i have this total also in the state so which is initialized with zero here i can do is set state my current state and i am updating total with state dot total plus the price this is simple and show product which is doing nothing so now we have converted these class based functions into the functional component simple arrow functions product list now if you see here state dot product list so state dot product list initially is empty so you will see the loading now we will be making some kind of api call after some time like there is a use effect call going on so that will change this product list to something else right so state dot product list we will have something here we can access it state dot product list dot map and we will be having one another component which will maintain the product information and now we will be rendering the product form and the total components so we have three components you can see here this is what i'm talking currently but there are product form and total price like this is the cart which we have to render so there will be total component and here i will be passing state dot total okay state will not be null anytime is a state is an object and total will be just zero or product list will be empty so you don't need to do checks here this products are coming up from here state dot product list i'm iterating on every product and i'm rendering this child component and i assigned it here so products we are rendering and this is the total component product form is a event coming from the product form and what it is doing is okay let's create a new item so it will be sending one product from the form and that we will be getting here we will get a new product we are doing a push on the product list and then we are setting that set product set state so our state is always uh, like updated now if you go to product form we can just import the product form here i need to import react and all these things also so 
this is our product form apart from that we can also import react now product form should be fairly simple what it should have it should have three text fields and we will be just collecting the data and we will be sending back okay components product form here is our product form now we will also convert this into the react component okay so first of all we have to import react and then we will just convert this form into a functional form i mean we will be just using uh, simple functions instead of class i mean this exercise is very helpful how actually class based component can be converted into a simple functional component here we will be accessing props because this is a child component and we need to send something to the parent okay arrow function on submit method we have so we can actually convert this into arrow function this is fine render function we don't need we will just returning something so now this is converted pretty much simple okay now if you just see this code here we will be accessing props dot handle product and reference so how you create a reference so this is another way to actually capture the data from uh, input text fields so either you can actually have a dom event like on change event and capture the value which is written in the text field or you can create a reference so here i can create a reference uh, so same reference is passed everywhere so here reference price okay reference info so there are three text fields so i have to create a three reference for this first of all the name okay so i will be creating three reference and will be assigning them use reference initialize the reference with null so there is a price and there is a info okay price and info and how to assign these references simply go to reference and here you can assign the reference name reference price and reference info so current way of doing is with the class in the class you can just provide a reference and then reference dot price dot value similarly we will be doing it so in this case this dot reference uh, what we will be doing this dot this dot name dot current dot value right so from the name itself we will get the value name dot current dot value will give us the value from this okay so we just need to name dot current dot value once the form is submitted we have to reset the form so what we can do is name dot current dot value price dot current dot value and there is a info dot current dot value so this is reset i mean we are do just doing a reset so there are many ways either you write a handle change event and capture both the, uh, all the inputs which are being entered in these three different form three different text fields or you create a reference so from here like from the reference only we are capturing the value so what we are doing is name dot current dot value and name dot price dot value so here we are using use reference to actually capture the value entered in that text field and then info dot current dot value okay we'll also try to print what we are getting so we are creating product object and we are sending it to the parent component here we can do a destructuring little bit here we can access product directly because this is the only data we are getting from the parent component and we can access it directly handle product and we are passing the product payload i hope this is clear and this is on submit method we don't need this context so we can directly call this method without doing bind because it's a functional component we don't have a this context so all other things are pretty much fine okay so this is the handle product component now we can also look at the products component which is nothing but showing the product information and two buttons right 
here there are the two states so we can just convert first of all this component into a functional component and we have to export a default also product form this is product component import react const product So this also going to receive something from the props. Yes, there are two methods: handle total and handle show method. We have in this, so we will access props in the, this functional component. Rest all will be a state will be a quantity zero. So you can use we can use use state for this. Const quantity. and set quantity which we are initializing with uh, huge state quantity initialized with zero and these are events which you will add so now you can just write arrow functions for them pretty much simple show info can also be converted into arrow function okay render we don't need we just need a return and from the return we are accessing some properties and all so it is fairly simple to convert now now we have these methods which we can remove add subtract and show info so quantity so how we are updating quantity we are just doing set quantity with existing quantity plus one set quantity so we have quantity already plus one similarly if you wanted to decrease it set quantity minus one simple and here we can just do a props dot handle total props dot handle total we are just passing the minus value okay so here we just need to pass it carefully so we are passing the price so we don't need okay let's access the props directly so we are getting the price from the props Similarly, the info also, and we can access props without this props dot name, props dot price, and here we have a quantity variable which is initialized with zero, and these all are events on click events, so we can just get rid of this object. Pretty much simple. Now we have converted this into our simple functional component which is using huge state hook and some methods and calling the parent component methods like handle total handle show we are passing to the parent component. Now total component will be another simple one. Here it, it will be just calculating the amount which we are getting in the from the parent component so you can see props dot total we are getting and we are rendering this. So we can just calculate this price and we can render it. So it is kind of fairly simple. We have just uh, import the react on top and then const total. So it's always fun writing functional component because you are getting rid of a lot of things from your code. We don't need constructor. We just need this calculation and render function, return function, so we can just copy that. Okay, so instead of this dot props, we are getting things from the props. Okay, things are good. We are just calculating and showing the result, and we are doing export default total in the last. Okay, similarly export default product here. We are exporting, importing everything. So now in the app.js, we are importing all these components. Okay, let's see that it's going to be lengthy otherwise. Let's see next part in the next video. Thanks everyone.